Hey everyone, it's Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs, and I just wanted to share a quick video to show you how you can change your page size for print and cut depending on what your printer um, does is capable of. So the default when you open it is currently a cutting mat, but if I want to change this to be a print and cut, I'm going to come over to the artboard in the top right. I can choose this little print and cut box and then you're going to notice here it shows paper size and it has a drop down box but you only see a few options and this is your most common um, paper sizes that you're going to see in this drop down box. Um, if you know your printer, you know that most of them have a whole list of page sizes and this is just a small portion of that. To get to different page sizes, you can come up to File, Print Page Size, or I'm going to cancel this. You can come over here to the Printer button and it's going to open up your print setup. And then I have a Canon printer. If I click this, it's going to show my other printers as well. So I have a, an Epson F100 series sublimation printer as well as a Sawgrass um, and the different options here. I also have a small selfie, so you could choose those different options. And then your paper size currently is here. As you can see, there's quite a list here just for my printer alone. I do not have a large format printer, but this should work the same if you do. So I'm going to choose a couple different sizes here and you're going to notice that it'll change on the screen. So if I choose the largest here is a 17 by 22. And then I'm going to choose for me, I print through the rear tray and I'm going to choose OK. Then it's going to change and so you can see that my paper size is now larger than my current cutting mat so i would need to change my cutting mat which in this case a 12 by 24 is not going to work so i would need currently the 24 inch cutting mat is not in here um, but you can just change it simply to material roll and then your page size will show up because of the way caesar juliet and romeo cut and you are the one in charge to place the blade housing to line up for print and cut, this will work. So if I click on page marks, it's then going to add those page marks to the print margin error or the print border here. Now there are updates coming to the Leonardo Design Studio software and they're testing it with different printers to be able to max those out even more. Um, but currently it is set at this margin. It's still a very large print and cut area. So now I'm going to go through that one more time. So you can see here it did change in this drop down box over here, but I still only have those um, common paper sizes in that drop down. So I'm simply just going to click my printer button and I do a lot of printing with 12 by 12 paper and then again rear tray for my printer uh, especially when i'm using thicker medias like cardstock i print through my rear tray and i click ok now you can see my registration marks are out there for the previous page size i can simply reset that by unchecking and checking that um, page marks now since it's a 12 by 12 i can go back and i can choose my cutting mat again so here is the 24, 12 by 24 cutting mat, or I just change that to a 12 by 12 cutting mat. So you have some options and I'm just gonna go ahead and file import and then choose my file. And then once I have my file, I can choose that print and cut and then it's going to give me my trace options. So then I can just click next. In this case, I also have the SVG, so I could use that as well. But I just chose a file very simply. And if you get outside of that red 
reg uh, registration marks border, it's going to turn a light gray. You need to move it down fully into the page borders here so that it will print and it will cut. Check out the links in the description below for a full step-by-step -step print and cut tutorial that I do have on the Swift Creek Customs YouTube channel. Hope that helps. Have a great day.